Hi guys, this is the second week, the second episode of this vlog and a lot happened. I mean, it's just gonna be 15 minutes for you, but for me it felt like a lot. So, um, let me tell you all about my week. This week I decided to get out of my house. Ah! And after making a friend, I met another friend that I haven't seen in months. And we were gonna hang out and paint and yes. And after going through the neighborhood and passing by a couple of places were, that were named after zodiac signs, we arrived to his place and I saw his dogs that are great creatures. They're nice. And I met him in art school and he makes these prints uh, that he like uses different surfaces and carves them uh, so then he can apply ink and stamp that. That is a huge one that is inspired in Bolivian iconography and is a work in progress. So after distracting myself with another dog, I actually started painting. I decided to tackle the snake because I knew that it was going to take me a lot of time because of all the small details and drawing and painting with a super tiny baby brush was way worse and harder than I ever expected. Um, and so you can see that I cover and I repaint a lot uh, because it was fucking hell. I used some of your ideas. Um, I didn't record the whole process because it, was, it took me days. So, yeah, this is the snake. After all that progress, I decided to keep working on an old painting I had laying around and by old I mean it had like two weeks, 
but I hadn't touched it since then. So now I kept working on it, but now integrating some of your ideas. And then we have a bonus track where I try to convey more than one idea because I have a lot on hold. Uh, this one includes uh, women and cigarettes, pea soup and cat in weird position. So um, I put all these in one picture and I hope you like it. video in my parents' garden. a video in my parents' garden. Now I want to share with you uh, something very personal. So <laughs> let's let's get uncomfortably close. Um, at the beginning of the week, a teacher that I used to have in Argentina um, invited me to an exhibition there. It was very weird, uh, you know, a great cool coincidence that he invited me almost a year after I left that country. It's, it was like a year and a few days. And um, a year after leaving that country, uh, I, I used to live there for two years. Um, just a year later, I feel like I have enough clarity to talk about the things that I will talk about. Um, I made a comic, like a three-page comic that you will see next. Um, about how my life there was. I went through economical instability. I went there while the country was in political, social, economical crisis. And uh, living in a mostly white country as a mixed race person uh, opened my eyes to a lot of discrimination and rejection and general, you know, a lot of difficulty in general. Um, I didn't have enough money to, I have barely have money to eat. At one point I couldn't afford rent anymore, so I uh, didn't have a place to live. And I just found myself um, struggling a lot, juggling between a lot of things um, that put me in a survival mode. And between all that madness and all that insanity, I found friends. I found shelter in them and love and support like I never felt before. 
they accepted me because they were in some way marginal too. We were all living in the outskirts of the province, so we didn't have much money. They all had darker skin or either belonged to lower economical classes. They were either gay or trans or had some label on their shoulders that turned them into rejects. But we all had each other. When I came back, I felt really alone. But eventually I found friends again or recovered old friends that I haven't seen in a long time. I'm very grateful for everything that I have now. And even though I'm not rich, I'm not poor anymore. And that is a luxury already. Being part of the working class, for me, it feels like being a millionaire. <laughs> and um, I'm very thankful for the friends I, I still have that are supportive. I'm extremely happy to say that I'm in love with someone that makes me feel free, that empowers me, and I get to be completely myself with this person. So to my beautiful partner, <laughs> I love you so much. So now this comic is already done, but I wanted to make some corrections, and I think there are some visual elements that represent the feeling a lot better. This is a very loose translation, but I, I will try my best. I left to find you, but I only found difficulty. I arrived to a city that was falling apart. Fear and hunger were necessary. Love and friendship were. Memory saved me. All of you saved me.